Ages ago, Jinjanzo and I were peers. Ever questing with goodwill, he was. His nature made him question the supremacy of us beyond mortal woe and grief. He deemed all souls could be akin to us. Why then do we tower whilst others merely kneel and offer? He asked. I told him the others are less than us. His misstep cast him back into the endless cycle. Reborn, he drew three disciples. But what did they change? One ended up a corpse, others fugitives. He too took to the shadows. <laughs> Pathetic. Those journeyers have misplaced their worship. Why bet on the Sutra, when one oneself can be a Buddha? Kneel before the Buddha of the future. This the pilgrim himself has come for my teaching. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. My sack awaits misguided souls like you. Enter with it and find enlightenment. <laughs> Thank you. 
Trickster called you too. This wicked sack is much more vicious than before, nurturing such evilness. Yellow Brow must have woven Wukong's strength into it. That bastard! Join me! Let's fight our way out. I remember <laughs> And in Oh! <laughs> 
Kill it. Do it. <laughs> Oh, 
myself with but one hand upon my girdle. for others, and in time, you shall fall by their hand. I, Yellow Bro, fight solely for myself.
this rogue stole my seed sack and fled here. With Wukong's relic, he made it a soul-snatching vessel. He also took my look and my name to trick his old foes into vengeance. Hmm. Ow! Gah, you pot belly! I should have figured out it was you! <laughs> <laughs> Forgive my little deception. Stolen once, I buy it. Stolen twice, I doubt it. <laughs> Your doubt is fair. I shouldn't have underestimated his nerve. I meant to subdue him myself, but you two were swifter. Fortune favors you, Bajie. But I see great potential in this young one. He might just be... Hmm? The right monkey. Enough of this empty talk! I don't care if Yellowbrow drowns in the lake! We can't have Wukong's relic sink with him! <laughs> For that, pray lend me that rake of yours.
You tarried in the mortal world for a good while, didn't you? Speak clearly. Once again, I proved it to you, Jin Shanzu. You chose a means to an end, not to a proof. You sow chaos in hearts just for the sake of winning. How absurd and pathetic. <laughs> if not for winning, why debate over means and ends? That stone monkey merely named himself a sage, yet this altar boy dared to found his own faith and proclaim himself Buddha. Your faith is firm and will unwavering. You resisted his lures. All those who were high and mighty found their minds lost and their faith stained. But was it truly because of their devotion to Yellowbrow? <laughs> As you braved ice and snow, did the stench of shattered ego reach your nose? <laughs>